tips for different types of body fat. Everybody has at least some fat on their bodies. While this can be due to genetic and other factors, even gender, for example, women accumulate fat on the hips, thighs and stomach, and our own habits have an influence on our figures. In this article, we'll show you what to do for every area of the body that you have accumulated fat. Why does fat accumulate? Every area of the body stores fat differently. When you gain weight, two things are happening, the amount of fat cells increases from the hip and below, while the fat cells from the waist up increase in size. This impacts each area of the body differently. Fat is the body's way of storing energy, but it's not all stored in the same place. There are three types. Subcutaneous fat. This fat is closest to the surface of the skin and is the first to be lost during exercise. Genetics and hormones play key roles in determining where fat is stored in the body. Visceral fat. This fat is located deeper in the body and accumulates around the organs. It becomes dangerous in excessive amounts. Generally, excess visceral fat accumulates before subcutaneous fat. Therefore, you shouldn't allow your stomach to get too big. Intramuscular fat. This fat is stored between the muscle fibers, although it's not nearly as common as the other two types. It occurs in those who are heavily overweight or obese and can cause insulin resistance, which is the main cause of diabetes. Four areas where fat accumulates. The body is ruled by hormones. Their levels determine the state of your health. Some are responsible for your mood and others for your energy, etc. Studies show that they even determine where you store fat. Pay attention to the most common hormonal imbalances and their effects on your figure. Fat on the chest and arms, testosterone. When this hormone is lower than normal, it causes the arms and chest to increase in size, but not as a result of any exercise. Androgens are another set of male hormones that can also cause this. To solve this problem, eat foods that contain healthy, non-hydrogenated fats, B vitamins and proteins. Combine this with chest and strength training exercises. Fat on the hips and thighs, insulin. An imbalance in this hormone causes sugars to accumulate that later turn into fat. This type of weight gain is common among sweet lovers. The solution is to reduce your consumption of desserts, candies, 
and carbohydrates that are high on the glycemic index. Abdominal fat, estrogen. Estrogen is a female hormone and is the reason fat accumulates on the hips and thighs in women, also known as a pear-shaped body. The metabolism is influenced by excess estrogen that the liver must work to filter out. Eat foods high in folic acid, B6 and B12, like broccoli. Target exercises for every area of the body. We're going to show you 5 different ways the body accumulates fat. Thin with a bulging stomach. This type of figure is the result of giving in to cravings. People with this figure type are always a little nervous. Even with the help of a diet, the stomach doesn't decrease in size. The accumulation of fat in this area can lead to cardiometabolic diseases like hypertension or diabetes. The best exercises for this type of fat are. Moderate aerobics, 3-4 times a week crunches stretches yoga or meditation. Pear shaped body. When the trunk is smaller in relation to the, the waist, it'll take a lot of effort to lose the extra fat that accumulates around the hips, legs and thighs. This accounts for a large percentage of women and is the result of biology and evolution, to prepare the body for pregnancy. This body type is more susceptible to cellulitis and fluid retention. The good news that the risk for cardiac or metabolic problems is lower in this morphology. The best exercises include. Aerobics resistance exercises, spinning, swimming, cycling, dance yoga tichi. Cylinder shaped. There is no difference in proportions between the waist, hips and trunk. Fat is evenly distributed across the abdomen and thighs. This fat is the easiest to lose. The risks associated with the body type are sudden metabolic changes. A steady exercise routine is recommended. Total training, aerobic, localized and weight lifting, endurance exercises. Running, jumping rope, cycling, grunges. Large body. This type of body doesn't store fat proportionally. The risks seen in this group are associated with self-esteem because being so tall and large makes it hard to fit on anywhere. The exercises that offer the best results for this type are. Endurance sports, swimming, cycling, walking, dance and expression through movement stretches. Hourglass figure. In this case, the woman's curves are well defined. The waist is narrow in relation to the hips and torso. 
fat accumulates in the chest and thighs in equal proportions. Weight is easily gained, but it's difficult to strengthen muscles. This type is associated with lower risks of cardiovascular disease and an increased life expectancy. Exercise routines for this type should include. Aerobic activity, running, biking, elliptical, weight training, 